Hi, and welcome to App Exchange Mavericks. I'm Jackie Trevieso. I'm the Salesforce MVP and the leader of the Charlotte Administrators Group. You might also hear my voice on MVP Office Hours as a co-host. Today we're joined by Slade Foster of IBM, and we're here to learn about Watson Discovery for Salesforce and why it's the best deep learning artificial intelligence, or AI, for the job. Welcome, Slade. Please tell us what Discovery for Salesforce is all about. Sure, thank you for having me. So Discovery for Salesforce is a brand new application that we've just put on the Salesforce App Exchange uh, at Dreamforce last year. It's our first IBM Watson application on the App Exchange. We're super excited about it. It follows our theme of AI in the contact center, we refer to it as. And it's all about making contact center agents more efficient, more consistent in the way that they respond to and close cases. And Discovery for Salesforce is really designed to help them close those very complex cases. So it connects to unstructured data repositories, that's the strength of Watson, and brings what we call case resolving content right to the fingertips of the agent as they're working in Service Cloud. So I understand Mark Benioff has said Einstein and Watson are BFFs. Can you tell us about that friendship? Sure, this, is, this came out at, uh, at Dreamforce. Mark Benioff made that tweet at Dreamforce. So when you think a little bit about it, Einstein is the AI brand for Salesforce. Watson is the AI brand for IBM. Um, and there are some really interesting ways that they can be combined together. Einstein sees all of that critical CRM information that's inside of Salesforce. Watson focuses exclusively on unstructured data and sees really the rest of the world. And by combining them together, you get a more holistic end-to-end -end view of your entire business and better business results. Watson Discovery for Salesforce seems like a powerful solution, but what sets it apart from similar offerings in the marketplace today? Yeah, it's a good question because there are existing applications that, that perform similar functions on the App Exchange. What really sets apart Watson Discovery for Salesforce is a very cool feature that we've put into the Discovery Service, which is one of our Watson flagship services, and we're bringing this to market in Discovery for Salesforce. It's called continuous learning, also known as machine learned relevancy. But as agents interact with our application and as they attach case histories or knowledge articles or other unstructured content to a case that they're working on, the Discovery Service watches those interactions, builds a model, and then trains it over time. And it does this without any explicit interaction from a human being. This is a very cool feature and one big step towards that holy grail of AI that we know as unsupervised learning. There's nothing else like this in the marketplace and we're very proud of it. How do IBM's internal teams use Discovery for Salesforce? Well, this is a really neat story actually. The genesis for Discovery for Salesforce actually comes from our own internal deployment of Service Cloud which is one of the largest in the world. We have something like 13,000 IBM support agents now using Service Cloud. And we have a team dedicated to integrating IBM technologies, and especially Watson, into that version of Service Cloud. So when this team began to think about what problem to tackle first, they realized that a lot of customer problems, the solution already exists, but it's locked away inside an old case history, or maybe a knowledge article, or maybe even some manual or process that's online in Box or SharePoint. So this team actually built the first version of Discovery for Salesforce about a year ago, and our ag agents have been using it since. We took that, refined it, added the lightning components, the continuous learning, and have now made it available on the App Exchange for our customers. And can you tell us about a customer use case? Sure, so Deluxe Corporation was one of our early adopters for Discovery for Salesforce, and they actually joined us on stage at Dreamforce last year. So Discovery for Salesforce has helped Deluxe Corporation tackle two problems. Number one, individual teams have what they call fiefdoms of knowledge. And Discovery for Salesforce has helped break those walls down so that teams are no longer hoarding knowledge and can share it. Discovery becomes a federated search engine for them in that sense. Like most contact centers, Deluxe has a fairly high turnover rate. And so Discovery for Salesforce has helped their new agents become as productive as their more experienced agents. And that's been a big win for Deluxe. I can see how that would greatly benefit Service Cloud agents. Can we see a demo? Sure, I would love to show you how Discovery for Salesforce can help contact center agents. So what you see here is the typical Service Cloud interface. I'm a contact center agent. I'm gonna go pull a case off of the queue. Looks like this customer is having a problem getting an error while refreshing a collection. I'm gonna look in the details of this case and I see that attempting to start the indexer service is failing more than five times in their query server when refreshing a collection in the crawling server. Let's see what Watson Discovery has to say about this. You can see that Watson has returned three relevant cases, and these are ranked most relevant on the top. 
I can click view full case here and go inside this case and see how this support agent solved this before. There's a set of steps that talk about how to fix this problem, and that was a successful solution for this customer. So I'm gonna copy these steps into the case I'm working on, send this back to the customer, and like any good support agent, I'm gonna wait to hear back from that customer that this resolves their problem before closing the case. So let's look at a second case. Log SQLT database or disk is full. So I'm gonna open this case and you'll immediately see that Watson Discovery hasn't found any similar resolved cases. But what I can do is go look at other data sources like Box. And it looks like I have a hit here on an old knowledge article. Discovery has pulled back the relevant portion of text based on my search. But I can click on read full article and look at the entire article. Within this old article, there's a set of steps that help resolve this case. Showing a customer how to defrag this database to keep it from growing too quickly. With the click of a button, I can add this old case to the new one, send this information back to the customer, and again, wait to hear back from that customer that it resolved the problem before closing the case. So there you have it. That's how Watson Discovery Service can help solve some of these complex customer issues. Thank you, Slade, for educating us about the usefulness of AI and how Watson Discovery for Salesforce gives companies a competitive edge. Where can people go to learn more? All the information you need is right there on our App Exchange listing. You can search for Watson Discovery. It'll take you right to the listing. There's a video and links to other assets. Thank you for joining App Exchange Mavericks today. We'll see you in the cloud. Thanks for having me.